Up until a few years ago, the United States was a blessed, lucky nation. We didn't think about job creation. It just happened. The economy grew. People went to work. We had a growing middle class. They spent money. They paid taxes. And we didn't really think about policies to create jobs. Job creation just happened. We thought about tax policy, regulatory policy, all sorts of other policies, but we never really needed to focus on job creation. And something has changed. And now it's very apparent after this uh, 2008 recession that we're in a different world. But when we look back, we actually see things started changing a long time ago. Now, and what's happened? Why, why are we in this situation? Why are we even talking about this? We wouldn't have had this conversation 15 years ago, uh, or probably even 10 years ago. So this chart shows you what we mean by this term jobless recovery. And right now, it's been 15 months since GDP returned to its pre-recession peak. At the current rate of job creation, it's going to take another 30 months. So we're going to be out to at least 45 months to put people back to work. There's 5.2 million fewer jobs in this economy than there were in 2008. Well, the fact is technology is changing the types of jobs out there. And the jobs that remain for people to do are what we call non-routine. And these are jobs that require problem solving. They're often in-person interactive type jobs. But it requires a very different skill set than um, the education system that was built to put out assembly line workers in factories. And increasingly, there's a move towards much more flexible work schedules. So nearly 40% of companies say they're going to have more part-time workers, even after the recession. They want more temporary or contract workers. These are freelancers. And we often think about contract workers as either you know, filling in at an assembly line or maybe in an office as an as administrative assistant. But increasingly, you find that PhDs, scientists, professionals are deciding that they want a freelance career. We call it so what do we think is important for getting people back to work? Comes around four areas. First is skills. We need to completely rethink both mid-career worker retraining as well as what we're doing with kids K through 12 and then post-secondary. Second is Spark. This is getting back innovation, entrepreneurs, new business startups, and making sure that some of those new innovations are then scaled up into industries in the United States. Um, third is Share. When we look back at this period in history, we're going to say this is the era where the world saw 3 billion new middle class consumers join the global economy. And that's a tremendous opportunity. And we have ideas on how we could do more to make sure that US workers actually benefit from this explosion of global growth. And then finally is speed. This is about removing some of the impediments and rethinking how it is to do business in the United States. So the point is the world isn't standing still. And the US is still a very business friendly environment overall. But we can do more. And on the margin, this stuff. Thank you.